With tens of thousands of residents who trace their ancestry to the Middle East, this Detroit suburb is rightly known as the capital of Arab America. These days, Dearborn is at the center of a political tug of war. The city overwhelmingly voted Democratic in the 2020 presidential race. But with resentment swelling over the White House's support for Israel in its conflict with Hamas and Hezbollah, Dearborn voters are using their influence to threaten Vice President Kamala Harris's bid by withholding their votes or backing another candidate. This is the reason why I support and I endorse President Trump, because we're going to stop the wars. Democrats view Michigan as a toss-up, and with a week to go, some fear the backlash among Arab American voters could sink their chances here. Playing golf, Jimmy? One local Democrat is working to prevent that from happening. So my name is Assad Turfi. I am the deputy county executive of Wayne County. The Arab American community, I believe, is going to be the deciding choice in the state of Michigan which way this election is going to go. So for those that are uncommitted or for those that decide not to vote or for those that are deciding to vote for Jill Stein, not voting or voting for a third party candidate is a vote for Donald Trump. Donald Trump created an environment that was not good for us. There was a lot of hate. It was okay to talk about people that looked like me. I was one of the individuals that signed on to the uncommitted. I was uncommitted for Joe Biden. I'm committed for Kamala Harris. When I talk to people in private settings, I get the sense that Kamala Harris will win the majority of this community over yeah, Donald Trump. Stop by and say hello. You're good, good, bro. <laughs>